Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I wanted to talk about my Kindle TBR. So I am a part of Kindle Unlimited. Um, so I often go on to Kindle Unlimited and just put things on my Kindle without really thinking about it. Like I'm like, oh, that's, everybody talks about that book or oh, that looks interesting or oh my gosh, I wanna try romance for some fucking reason, even though like <laughs> that's been challenging and so I just put stuff on my Kindle without actually thinking about it. And then some stuff I just buy because I'm like, oh man, it's on sale. I'm gonna save so much money. And so, you know, girl math, girl math. So I just wanted to go through and talk about some of the things that I have on here. Hopefully make this a quick and easy video. So let's just jump right on in, shall we? Right, the first one we have on here is a booktube darling and that is Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I have read um, one book by Rebe Rebecca Roanhorse before. I thought it was fine, wasn't my favorite, but this is, everybody was talking about this a couple years ago, so I wanna know what it's all about. All right, and the next one we got is one I'm kinda scared of and that is Off Season by Jack Ketchum. I wanted to read the Girl Next Door, but after really learning more about what it's about, I just don't think I could like that one. I don't think I could actually finish it, but this one I think is about cannibals. So I really want to try it out. I really enjoyed Brother, not by him, by uh, somebody else. I don't remember her name, but um, so maybe cannibals is kind of a thing, but Jack Ketchum writes like graphic horror novels, and so I'm very interested in trying this one out. It, all right, this one is by a author that I loved before, and that is Penance by uh, Kane Monato. I read Confessions by this author and freaking loved it, so I immediately I had to go and buy this. Now, granted, I bought this a year ago and still haven't read it, so I need to get on that. I think this is about um, like four women who get together and start murdering people maybe so I'm not really too sure But I know I love this author before in her way of writing stories So I am very interested to see what's going on here Obviously, I'm interested in all of these books So hopefully I don't say I'm interested in reading this all the time on every single one of these because obviously I'm very interested in reading them. But the next one is another booktube darling and that is Empire Silence by Christopher Rocchio. I did try to start reading this before but I read it way too close to reading Dune and after I finished reading Dune and this is so much like Dune that I kind of was, um, it was, it was too much like Dune, so it was just like, no, 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 no. So I need to stop reading that, but that's been at least over a year now, so hopefully I can uh, get back into this pretty soon. And I think the series is supposed to be completed um, within the next year, I think. So maybe I can like just binge a whole series, which is something that I really love to do. All right, next we got a flintlock fantasy that I am super excited about, obviously. <laughs> And that is The Thousand Names by Django Wexler. Um, like I said, Flintlock Fantasy. I did I did actually get 20% into this one of the first times I tried reading it. And then for some reason just put it down and kind of forgot about reading it. So I need to get back to it pretty soon. And this is a completed fantasy series. So that would be fun to actually like finish another series. <laughs> all right, we got our next booktube darling. And I'm pretty sure all of these ones I bought... So none of these were on Kindle Unlimited, but we'll get to some that were on Kindle Unlimited. But the next booktube darling is Jade City by Fonda Lee. This book is everywhere. Mafia fantasy dealing with Jade magic, whatever that means. All I know is everybody keeps raving about this. Obviously the series is completed at this point and I need to get to it so I can know what everybody's talking about, but I just keep putting it off because I never... Like, I pick up my Kindle, I read from my Kindle often, but for some reason I never read the books that are on here. I always just go and find new ones when I pick it up and just read those instead of reading the ones that are already on here. I don't know why I do these things. Now we're getting into some actually stuff I bought on Kindle Unlimited. And the first one of those is another horror book, Nick Cutter's The Troop. Um, Lord of the Flies, I did not enjoy when I read that a while ago, but 
I thought maybe a good horror version of that would be a good time and I love everybody talking about the body horror that's in this and I want to see if body horror can be something that I do enjoy so I am going to test the waters out on these since I got it on Kindle Unlimited. This one was a total and complete cover by. Um, that is Head Like a Hole by Andrew Van Way. This woman has snakes coming out of every hole in her face, and I I have to know what that's about. It was on Kindle Unlimited. I see this, and I gotta know what it's about. I have no idea if this is horror, if this is literary, if this is fantasy. I don't know what this is, but I, I gotta I gotta figure out why this woman has snakes coming out of every orifice on her face. <laughs> and now we have Never Die by Rob J. Hayes. This is a self-published uh, fantasy book. A lot of people talk about Rob J. Hayes saying he's probably one of the best at doing it in self-publishing right now. And uh, this story sounds really cool. Um, I know it definitely involves death and like dealing with death, but like maybe not in such like a grieving way, but like I think everybody in this is dead, I think. So I don't know, sounds pretty cool. And that cover is pretty awesome. So gotta try it out soon, hopefully. I really need to like make an effort with my Kindle reading this year. And then for some reason, I bought two of the books in this series, Gunmetal Gods by Zamel Akator. I don't know how to say that. I'm pretty sure this is also a self-published fantasy book. Not really sure, oh my hand's shaking. <laughs> Not really sure what it's about. I think it might be Flintlock. I have no idea, but I bought this, or I didn't buy it. I got it on Kindle Unlimited. I had to know, and I got the first two. So I really hope I like it. <laughs> All right, now we have an author that I really want to read everything that he's written, and that is Adrian Tchaikovsky, and this is Elder Race. This is a novella of his that I found on Kindle Unlimited, and I know I want to read everything that he's written because I've enjoyed, um, I enjoyed so much Guns of the Dawn. That's one of my favorite books. And I have read another one of his that I didn't really like that much, but I'm hoping that, you know, he will be a good author for me. And he writes such in a variety that I think I will greatly enjoy this. I'm not really sure what this is about, but, you know, it's a novella, so it won't take me that long to do it. And then we have The Good House by Tanana Reeve Dew. Obviously, I can tell I put a bunch of horror on my Kindle. I don't know why I like getting horror on here, but apparently I really do. But I have actually tried to read this twice now, and I just can't get through it. It's just like, I just think about how long it is every time I start it, and I just don't want to start keep reading it. And I really want to know what happens in this, because I hear such great things about it. So I really need to get my shit together and just freaking finish it because I get 20% the way in almost every time and I really enjoy her writing and I really like what's going on in the story. It's just like keep putting this down and not picking it back up again. What is, I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with me. All right. And now we have a booktube darling author and that is ML, ML Wong and this is The Blood Over Bright Haven. So I wanted to get obviously The Sword of Kai Yan, but they didn't have that on Kindle Unlimited. So I got this one instead. This is uh, their new release. No idea what it's about, but I've, people have said great things about this too. So I am very interested in reading this. This is also a self-published book. Then we have another self-published book. I read the first book in this series um, at the end of last year and thought it was so good. So I had to pick up the next one. And this is Murder on Lamplight Express by Morgan Stang. This um, is murder mystery fantasy. And I so much enjoyed the first book. I loved the main character. And then we were following that main character once again in this as they try to serve a murder on a train. And so this author writes basically Agatha Christie murders, but set in a fantasy world and like, or Agatha Christie mysteries set in a fantasy world. And I really, really enjoyed that. So yeah, I can't, I need to get to this super quickly, but I'm kind of waiting to be in the mood to deal with a murder mystery kind of fun times. How High We Go in the Dark. Um, this is a book that I have been so interested in reading it. Every time I see it at the bookstore, I always want to buy it. But I'm nervous because I don't think I'm going to like it. So like, I'm just, I'm just nervous about if I'm going to like it or not. I believe this is like a collection of short stories, but there's like a running narrative all the way through is my understanding. Um, and so when I saw this was on Kindle Unlimited, I was like, well, obviously it's a sign. So I must get and puts on my Kindle. 
And now we're gonna get a little bit into the romances that I have on my Kindle, starting with The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. Now lately I have not heard the greatest things about this one, but I am interested in it because I do like the fake dating thing because I love I loved The Unhoneymooners. That is the first fantasy I read, or first fantasy, first romance that I read and so I am very interested in that trope of um, fake dating. So if y'all have any suggestions for that, please leave them in the comments below. But it, that's why I got the bodyguard, because from what I was seeing, it was kind of like that. Kind of, it had at least that trope in it. So I really need to try this out. And then because I heard that um, everybody says Tessa Bailey is who, if you're not really sure about romance, you need to try out Tessa Bailey. And so I got Fixed Her Up by Tessa Bailey because it was on Kindle Unlimited. I know that everybody says you should try this author. So that's why I got this. I believe this is a girl dating her brother's best friend. So that sounds kind of interesting. I, um, don't know if I'm gonna like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like it because I couldn't imagine dating any of my brother's friends. That'd just be kind of weird because like I've grown up with them my whole life, but we'll see how it works in this. <laughs> and He's Not My Type by Megan Quinn. I got this because Kendall relentlessly was shoving it in my face. So I was like, fine, Kendall, fine. I will pick it up. So you will stop advertising it to me. <laughs> so that worked on their part. No idea what this is about. I'm pretty sure it's like the fourth in this series. So, but uh, with romance, I don't think you have to read them in order all the time. So I'm just like, fine, I will try it. And we will figure out if I like it. Stop shoving it in my face. <laughs> and now we have a very questionable one for me. And that is Desperate Measures by Katie Robert or Kate, Kate Robert, whatever. Um, I, when I found out that this was like a Jasmine and Jafar retelling, but like from the Disney, like remaking the Disney movies, I was like, I want to read it. And then I found out it was smutty and I was like, oh God, I'm terrified, but I have to know. I have to know. And all the girls in my book club read this and like loved it. They read like all of them. So I'm just like, I don't know. We don't always agree, but I'm going to try. But I'm st fucking terrified to read this. <laughs> Next, we got Veronica Ruiz Breaks the Bank by El Casamano. This is a short story within the Finley Donovan series that I need to get to before the next Finley Donovan book comes out because I want to be so caught up in this series. So I need to get to this so quickly. Normally I listen to these on audiobook, but I don't think this is on audio, but I'll double check my library just in case. So uh, ASAP need to read kind of book. Next we have Of Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill. This is a maybe grimdark fantasy. I know this is self-published. Um, I kept hearing, I think, Matt's fantasy book reviews talk about this and how great of a fantasy read this is. So like, I, I need to check it out. Even though I, from watching a lot of Matt's videos recently, I don't think me and him have the same taste, but I still do want to try this out um, because I think it is a completed fantasy series and I love when there's completed fantasy series. So I, I don't know. I'm interested. I've seen it around and I do, I, I have, I was interested before, so I can't wait to try it out. Next we have A Natural History of Dragons by Marie Brennan. Um, this just looks like a really fun kind of fantasy time about a woman who's like a natural, not a naturalist, is that the right word? I don't know. About a woman telling her life story pretty much as she discovers dragons and studies them and goes through that. And I don't know, it just seems like a cool time. Um, an older woman protagonist, I mean, she starts out younger, obviously it's going through her life, but I don't know. I'm just very interested in this. It does it. I don't know if I'm going to really like it, but I want to try it out. And I heard actually that it's better to listen to these on audiobook. So I might actually just pick up the audiobook and listen to it. I think I did put it on hold in my library, but I do have this on here because I'm very, very interested in this one. I want to get to it sooner rather than later. And then I couldn't believe that an adventure, uh, The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty was on Kindle Unlimited, but I was like, oh man, like everybody's been talking about this book, so like I gotta read this. Also, an older female protagonist, but she's a pirate, 
and going back and being a badass pirate. So I'm just like, well, fuck, I gotta know what happens in this book. So when I saw it on Kindle Unlimited, I was like, well, this is a fucking steal. All right, and the last one I got is the one I got the most recently, and that is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. I really hate this cover. I really liked the other covers that were with it, so I had to get it on Kindle because there was no way I was gonna get some ugly ass covers. But um, all I know about this is like that it's like Gossip Girl, and I kind of am all here for that. I watched Gossip Girl like a couple years ago for the very first time and fell in love with it. I loved it so much. I loved the fucking messy drama that these fucking rich, you know, asshole teens got into, and like. I think that's pretty much what this is and just how messy. And so like, I'm just like, I'm here for messy drama. I love it. So I, I'm really, really pumped to do this. All right, guys, that's everything that I have in my Kindle. Let me know what you're hiding in your Kindle. And do you also have the same addiction to Kindle Unlimited like I do? And while you're down there, leaving your comment. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll talk soon. Bye.